Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. Today I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to install a stock framework on your phone. So what this will do is it'll basically get rid of root permissions and it'll make it exactly the same as it was when it came out of the factory. So uh, let's get straight on to this new video. Okay, so we now uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to reboot our phone into download mode. So that's just done by pressing power button, home button, and volume down. Okay, so now we just want to plug in our USB lead and press volume up to continue to look at this little Android thing here. Okay, so now we're going to head onto the computer and do some fun stuff with there. Okay, so we want to uh, go onto Heimdall, double click that to open it, and what this is going to do at the moment is we're going to download the pip file. Now all the pip file does is it tells us where to flash the ROM to. So we're going to click on here and say detect. If it doesn't say device detected, the likelihood is you need to reboot your phone back into download mode or try a new cable. Alternatively, I found the best method for that is just to try a whole new computer completely. If you only have one computer, steal someone's. Okay, so go on to save as, we're going to click GT i9 100 uh, so I'm just going to name the file and I'm just going to save it onto the desktop um, and then I'm going to click save I'm going to press replace because I've already done this uh, just so I can show you what it looks like so you click on download and it comes up with this uh, thing here usually it doesn't take too long it just takes a few seconds um, so you can see already it's ending the session and releasing the device interface so that means it is now completed so we can now go on and we can start to flash the ROM in Jodin Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to head over to Jodin. Okay, so we can see the device is connected. It says it's connected here and here. If it doesn't work, I suggest you reboot your phone back into download mode and you also may maybe try a new computer. So we're going to click on PIT and we're going to select the PIT file that we just downloaded. And then we're going to click on PDA and we're going to click on the correct um, TAR file, which is our framework. We're then going to press Start and uh, hopefully this will work. Okay, so it's now going through it. You can see here it's uploading some stuff. So this is a good sign it's now working. Um, if you get a problem that says uh, error or something like that, it may be a problem with the file that you have downloaded. So you could have downloaded the wrong um, type of file or for the wrong phone. Alternatively, the file is just corrupt in some way. So what I'd suggest there is looking elsewhere on the internet and finding a new file. So you can see here on the phone, we have a little progress bar. Um, so obviously that will tell us how far in we are. This does take quite a while, so I'm just gonna film this and then we're gonna speed this up and hopefully it will all work smoothly and fine. Okay guys, so uh, while this is going, I just wanted to say a quick little video uh, thing. On our channel, we have a video at, up at the moment using Jodin as well to root your phone. So obviously doing this will get rid of root permissions on your phone. So what I do suggest is if you want to root your phone again is you watch that video uh, and it explains hopefully in quite good detail on what to do to your phone. Um, also we'll have a new video coming up shortly on how to install a new recovery video, uh, a new recovery module onto your phone as well. Okay, so it's now 100% uh, there, just finished uploading the kernel and you can see it says pass on the screen. So the phone now reboots, that's because we've checked the auto reboot option up there. So at this moment we can disconnect the phone. Um, I don't suggest doing that though just in case um, anything goes up with it. Um, but what you do need to do is you need to reboot into recovery and you do need to factory reset. So to do that you press the home button, power button and volume up. Okay, so um, we've now rebooted into recovery mode. Okay, so this is the sort of menu that you come up with. This is the actual stock Android recovery, so we can't actually flash anything, but what we can do is factory reset. So we go onto wipe data factory reset, uh, navigate using volume down to go up and down, uh, and power button to select. So power button will select that, volume down to go down, volume up to go up, um, and then delete all user data. I'm just going to let this Android do some gerbling and then it will uh, we'll click on reboot system now. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been uh, quite good to film. This is the second time, I've actually it's about the 18th time I've done it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It's um, been quite good to film, as I say. Uh, if you wanted to get your phone onto a stock Android for whatever reason, maybe you're sending it back to the company uh, or you're selling it, um, this is how you do it. It's actually really simple to do and really easy, provided you can find the correct framework download link um, on the internet somewhere.
in the realms of the interwebs. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It really helps us if you share these videos, subscribe and like. But until next time, guys, live long and prosper.